Ladies and gentlemen, Todd Perez and the Bongo Furies. All right, you guys. Welcome out fest, you guys. All right, we're going to start right off with that Beatles thing, if you guys don't mind.
turns me up so that Thank I you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so much. You so much. <laughs> okay, no more pretty songs after that one. Yeah, oh, it's on now. On. It's scary. Yeah, here we go. Bring it on. This is where we should. There should be a PG rating on the rest of this set. It's PG-13. Or, or not. Or not. But not my household. That's not how it rolled. There was no helicoptering. My kids had to learn the hard way. They did, yeah, yeah. It was too many buttons to press up here, wasn't it? Yeah. I'm sure I had my, my David Gilmore delay thing working. Anyway, we're the Bongo Furies. We're, it's our second time back here. I think in Alfest, right? Yeah. We were here last time, and obviously they forgot about that. They let us come back. Which is okay. We're glad they let us keep coming back and playing music for you guys. But we're going to be doing a whole bunch of Frank Zappa for you today. I, 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 we kind of did it once before, and we thought it was a lot of fun. And we wore dresses, but I would wear my dress today, but it's kind of chilly, so. But I'm wearing ladies' underwear, so just look at FYI. No. And no mustaches, so we were trying to get they them to grow them. In the yeah, I put a little road green on them when they weren't looking. We have to start growing those like six months in advance, so yeah, we didn't plan one. Well. Yeah, don't worry, anyway. I'm working on Don't go for help, no one will heed you. 
Don Pardo, tell them what they want. Your mind is totally controlled. It has been stuffed into my bowl. And you will do what you are as told. Until the rights to you are sold. <laughs> Thank you. That was a lot of fun. So as you can tell, we play very serious songs. <laughs> really is, serious. Yeah, this is another very serious song. It's very serious around here, especially. Oh my God. <clears throat> Sorry, Bianca. It should be at least from the sign. I got I got scared when I pulled that the first time. But it's just like it becomes an earworm. Just saying. This is where we really go stupid here on this. Sure you know just what I'm talking about Thinking when They make the best kind of pen Baby Baby I look around There's a couple right near me Baby Maybe I think that they can probably hear me Thinking when
make the best kind of pet. Baby, baby, baby. Look around, there's a couple right near me. Baby, baby, Maybe I think that they could probably hear me. I hope you guys like our stupidity, you know? Yeah. We're going to get even stupider right now. We were kind of we tabled on this earlier. Let's do, the, let's do it for real, guys. For reals. For reals. Right. It's for reals we can do it, I should say. I don't know. It's going to be for real. Again, we're just, you know, what do you expect for, you know? Just, do it. Yes, are you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Okay, here we go. We really had to do this song. I dreamed I was an Eskimo. Jump out from behind my igloo. Started whipping in on my favorite baby seal. With a lead field snowshoe. That's right. He said, with a lead. Lead field. Lead field. 
steel snowshoes. He said, peekaboo with a leg. A left field. A left field snowshoes. He said, peekaboo. He went right inside the head of my favorite baby seal. He hit him on the nose. He hit him on the fin. He went whack. That got me just about as equal as an Eskimo boy could be. So I, I bent down, I reached down, I scooped down, and I gathered up a generous spindle for the deadly. Right there where the huskies go. My Dina's room. And I proceed to take that mitten full of deadly yellow snow crystals and rub it into his beady little eyes with a bigger circular motion. Hither known to the citizens of this area is destined to take the place of the mud shark. Your mythology. Here it goes now. The bigger circular motion. Run it. I pounced. I pounced again. Big googly moogly. But the fur chopper was quite upset, as you can understand, because uh, the deadly little soap crystals have afflicted him out here. Of his sight. So he stood up and he looked around and he looked around and he looked around and, looked around and he said, I can't see. Precisely at that moment, the fur trapper remembered the ancient, the very ancient Eskimo legend. Where it is written upon whatever the heck they write it up on out there. <laughs> and it says something like this that if anything bad, anything bad ever happens to your eyes as a result of some kind of conflict with anybody named Nanook. The only way you're gonna go get it fixed up is you gotta go. You gotta go trudging across the tundra. Mile after mile. Trudging across the tundra. Right up to the Paris of St. Alfonso. Okay, we almost got to the rest of that. We'll do that next time. Anyway, that's just our yellow snow. We were hoping it would be a hot day and it'd be a really good funny joke. But anyway. So that's our yellow snow start for the day. But you know what? I'm gonna, I, I just have a feeling things are gonna get really ugly right about now. So if you got children, just gonna say it's gonna get kind of it's gonna get kind of crazy. For mature audience. I, I feel there's heat coming from under my feet. I can feel the heat of, of Hades just coming up right now. So I think we're gonna have to uh, enlist some help here. Hold on to your hats. So how many people actually actually ever listen to Frank Zappa besides 
us. <laughs> oh, oh God, this is awesome. Well, thank you so much. I mean, I'm glad and glad. I, I wonder sometimes. I get those blank looks. I'm like, okay, this is not going over, so guys. Not playing the Holiday Inn ever again. <laughs> Yeah, just that one time. It's just that one time. Tell stories. Making them up. Anyway, anyway. So we're going to get a little bit crazy with this next song. I hope you guys like this. But this is definitely rated PG. Maybe R. It's, it's R. It might get crazy. I think it's R. It's R. R, R rated Alphas. What are you going to do? Oh, no, it's R. Checks come through. Well, I want my Chrissy and I want my beer, so you just barf it back up now, devil. Do you hear? Blow it out your ass, motorcycle man. I mean, I am the devil. Do you understand? What will you give me for these titties and beer? I bet you noticed this little contract here. You got damn right, you son of a whore. About the only reason I learned writing for. Give me that paper, bet your ass I will sign it because I need a beer and it's titty squeezing time. Can't fool me, you ain't that bad. I mean, you should have seen some of the souls that I oh, had. Yeah, well, yeah. There was Millhouse Nixon and uh, Agnew too. Both of those suckers was a uh, worse than you. You, if you think that's true, I mean. I mean, you're the devil, so tell me what you're gonna do. I mean, like, oh, it's really confusing when you put it like that. I mean, really, will you, will you explain in more clear language? You tell know, I'll tell you what, devil, I'm not, I'm thinking about just two things. And I think, two things. I think, I think probably the majority of the people here are thinking about the same two things. And, uh, yeah, it's not the thing, not the things you're thinking about. But let's see if you can guess them. I'm two gonna things. You, I'm gonna give you guesses. I know that, that one is the loneliest number, and, Three is a magic number. Right. No, 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 no. You're not even close. Not even close. I'll tell you what. It goes something like this. It's like titties and beer. You know, like two of the 
What? You bring just gifts to God. Yeah, God has given us, right? So I'm just going to say it. Titties and beer, titties and beer, titties and beer, titties and beer. Titties and beer, titties and beer, give me some titties and beer. Something is just not getting through, my gut just breaks. Titties and beer, titties and beer, titties and beer, wait a minute. What do you got? You know, I'm telling you, just leave me alone a minute, I'm sailing. You dig that groove, don't you? I dig that groove. Strip, which is okay. This is what we always try to practice for. <laughs> no, don't sign it. Give me time to think. I said, don't sign it, boy, because that's magic. -ing. Well, the devil adores it. Go and out, jump my girl. The world of titties pop, popping all around the world. She said, I got me three beers and a fistful of damn, and I'm gonna get rich. So, fuck you, clown. Well, then she gave us the Finger, it was rigid and stiff, and then the devil he done farted, and she went right over the cliff. The devil was mad. I took up to my bed. I took I took the clam. I did you get back there? I took the clam. I did you get back there? I took the clam. I did you get back there? I took the clam. I did you get back there? favorite song. I think this is the first Zappa song I ever heard. You totally corrupted me from that point on. I never heard it until I met Todd. I, you know, I'm a bad influence and a good influence, depending on which way you look at. And we're going to keep the devil up on stage, for, if you guys don't mind. The devil, uh, a.k.a. a.k.a. <laughs> Never mind. Like you haven't seen him playing all weekend already, right? I'm going to give him some more stage time. Man, I think he's going to go to your head. <laughs> anyway, this is a kind of a cosmically looking place. I keep expecting to see UFO come over the top. This hasn't happened yet. I'm, I'm, I'm actually a little sad because I haven't seen one yet. I just haven't taken over those shrooms. I got a guy. I'm just that's that's where my problem. Anyway, I hope you guys like this one. This is one of my favorites. He said for a nominal service charge, I could reach Nirvana tonight. If I was ready, willing, and able to pay him his regular fee, he would drop all the rest of his pressing affairs and devote his attention to me. And I said, hey now, look in, brother. Who you driving with that cosmic debris? Now, who you driving with that cosmic debris now? it around a bit. He reached into the pocket of his mystery robe and he whipped out a shaving kit. At first I thought it was a razor and a can of foaming goo. But he told me right then when that top popped open there was nothing his box won't do. With the oil 
of Admiral Daiti and the dust from the Grand Wazoo. He said, you might not believe this little fella. Bit of a coup that ring of fire for you too. I said, hold up. Or is that a Sears poncho? Look here, brother. Don't you waste your time on me. Don't waste your time. So many stuff is not going to play. Maybe next time. We're going to get it on our list. Yeah, he only had like a thousand songs. But we're not going to let Ned go away just yet. We got it. We're going to let him play some more guitar. Is that okay with you guys? <laughs> we're trying. We're trying. We're really trying. We've got the silly water going on, you know. Silly water. Yeah, we're really happy to be playing. Actually, we weren't really sure we were how much stuff we're going to have time to put it together because we're doing other things too but we're really happy to be here and we're going to give you guys a few more fun songs at least and this is going to feature the lovely and talented lisa cassia over here i, I personally picked the song out for her <laughs> I think she'd love it. That's all right. You know, she, they, they, they'd love my views. Come on. <laughs> Come on.
a hand. I mean, I mean, you guys held out all weekend long, doing some good stuff, hanging out, watching some good bands play. Yeah. I enjoyed every minute of it. I tell you what, this is this is great. Looking forward to Alpha's 20. That's what I'm talking about. We're gonna we're gonna change it up just a little bit. I mean, so far we've been playing all our stupid Zappa stuff. We might want to play one real one. Is that okay. <laughs> well, we're gonna try to we're gonna try to keep it real. I don't know. <laughs> These guys keep you, keep you on my toes. We'll keep it real. <laughs> this is off a, uh, was it off the Zoodle Lords album? This song called Zoodle Lords. You guys like it?
Mike Lantanoro on Daisy Dark.
too mellow, way too mellow. <laughs> oh, thank you guys. Thank you so much. We got one more to do, and then I'm gonna have to like, you know, say it's adieu. a sing along, people. So I you'll know it. it. And this I is a sing along. Yeah. We need sing -along. to hear you. Yeah, you can actually help us with this for sure. For sure. You might have, you might have heard this one once before. For real. Yeah, well, we got Soap Lego coming up next. I hope you guys want to stick around and watch them. I hear they're pretty good. <laughs> you're biased, you're biased. <laughs> I'm a little biased, yeah, I can't help it. Lauren Tudor. Anyway, this is like a fun song. Actually, it's one of the, the Zappa songs. I uh, Anybody listen to the Fillmore edition of some of the Zappa songs? Fillmore piece? Yeah, I think it's uh, someone in the 70s back in the day. Anyway, did this little stint, Steady and Flow. Those guys from the Turtles. They did this little song once. It's pretty funny. Imagine me and you, I do. I think about you day and night. Got you on my mind 
Essa é a nossa equipe de nível 1 na Brigade. Por favor, Bongo Curies, thank you, Alphys, and thank all the bands and Scott and everybody for doing their thing. It's been so much fun. We'll come back and see you and come see us down in Sacramento. Give yourselves a hand. I tell you why, you guys are fucking awesome. All right, don't go nowhere. We have the <laughs> Soul Palegro coming up next. Hey, let's hear it again for the Bongo Furies.